Some CWA members are here in South Jersey today talking to legislative officials about some uh, concerns we have. Uh, would you two of you introduce yourselves and tell us uh, where you work and, and what local you're from? I'm Cecilia Hope and I work at Woodbine Developmental Center and I'm from local uh, 1040 CWA. And are you, are you a steward there? Yes, I am. Great. I'm Kali Randazzo. I work at Woodbine Developmental Center. I'm a member of local 1040 also and I'm a steward too at my work site. Great. Would, uh, would you tell us uh, a little bit about what you just did here? We spoke to Assemblyman Bino and Milan. Milan, yep. Um, yep. In reference to some of the civil service uh, bills that's being referenced for approval in their assembly. Uh -huh. um, some of the issues were, you know, civil service and had went over some of civil service being promotional and more competitive, but just two different you know, divisions in civil service and the rules and how it protects the workers in reference to being promoted in various disciplines and, you know, how you apply the process. So, and how important that it is for state workers and public workers to continue to have that protection so that we're not, you know, subjected to the good old boys club where, you know, administrators can pick and choose of who they want that may be part of their parties versus who may be the best qualified right. and ignore their, you know, civil service rules. So you brought up the, you know, Governor Christie's proposal to just get rid of civil service and you told them that civil service has some protections for workers and people and getting hired and promoted and yes. all that stuff? Okay. Most definitely. Without that, we would be all at will employees. Right. Is there something you brought up with the, yes, the assemblyman? I'm, I'm concerned as well as some of our um, workers in the area where I'm from located from, that we're concerned about the closure, the finalization of the developmental centers, that it provides a lot of jobs for the area, for the local area, and for the businesses. And um, they're bringing uh, different, um, what would you call them, different um, bills to the assembly mm -hmm. that they're trying to pass that would affect that. It would affect the, uh, how services are delivered to our developmentally dis um, challenged consumers. Um, we can keep that out of here feeling comfortable that Milan and uh, Albino will represent us and will be concerned with our um, discussion to make modifications or suggestions at their level for us and that's important to us at this point. Great. Well, that's great. Um, so I don't know if you saw this. Uh, Chris Christie the other day said that um, there's two classes of, of people in New Jersey, the, the rich public workers and then everybody else who has to pay for their lavish benefits. And then two days later, he went to a $25,000 a plate fundraiser. So how many when, how many $25,000 plate fundraisers have you guys been to lately since you're the, the rich people in New Jersey? None. None. We're still waiting our turn. Yes. You guys, you guys just turn. you just go for the ten thousand dollar plate fundraisers, or we wish. <laughs> okay. So who's did you did you bring your driver here? How did where's your limo? You no, we walked and we're going to get a value meal after this. <laughs> <laughs> and catch the bus home. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot.